What is good you guys? Today I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial on how to set up a RAID configuration on an Asus Z170AR motherboard. So this is a really quick tutorial, it'll only probably take about a couple minutes. Um, but just to show you guys how easy, now for most motherboards they have some form of software like this to set it up easier. Um, back you know, about a year or two ago, it was a little bit harder on the Z97 boards. You had to go through a little bit more um, hoops to get it to work. Um, and then it goes even further back. It was harder and harder. Now it's literally, you can use your mouse. And it's ridiculously easy. I don't know what this is, but I'm not going to touch that. Alrighty, so step one, we're going to click on this little tuning wizard or press F11, whichever one you want. And then we're going to straighten out the camera here. Up right here, we can see RAID. We're going to click on RAID. Um, SATA so very important note um, you can only at least with this motherboard and using this software <coughs> any drive you have plugged in it will try to put in the RAID configuration so you have to unplug all the drives that you do not want in the RAID configuration in this case we don't want two of our main storage hard drives in this RAID configuration we only want the two SSDs so I had to unplug the uh, main hard drives from the motherboard just for now until uh, we're done setting up the RAID. So as we can see here, we have the 840 and the 850, 120 gig SSD, just hit next. And that's what I mean, it doesn't let you, it'll show all the drives here that are plugged in and it just, it won't let you turn them on or off. At least I don't know how to do it. Um, but yeah, so unplug them and uh, you can use your easy backup or super speed. We're going for the super speed. So we're gonna set up a RAID zero and uh, we're just gonna click yes. And yes again, and I guess yes for a third time, and then okay. Alrighty, so should be set up. We'll find out. So it still shows up as 120s in the BIOS, but they are um, in RAID because I'm going to end up exiting right now and uh, installing Windows on them. So that's how you do it. That's literally, it's that simple. It's like a 10 second process. Really simple on the new motherboards with the new softwares that they've incorporated. Um, but a little bit of a hassle, the fact that you have to unplug your other hard drives um, in order to not include them in the RAID. And last but not least, as you can see, we're in the Windows install and uh, we can see the two um, 120 gigs has now turned into roughly 220, 240 gig um, drive by itself, along with us having the two terabyte and the one terabyte separate drives um, that we had to unplug earlier to make sure they were not in the RAID configuration setup. So there we go. Um, simple as that, you guys. Uh, hopefully this helps any of you guys out there. This should be roughly the same um, process you go through for any new Asus um, motherboards. Um, for the new chipset, the uh, Skylake chipset motherboards, it should be basically the same process you should have to go through for all Asus ones. And I would assume roughly the same process for most of the other uh, motherboard manufacturers out there. Though, if it is different, just check your um, manual and read how to do it. But yeah, super simple process. And now I get to go through the grueling stage of installing Windows from a disk. I thought he had Windows 10 and I was going to use a flash drive, but apparently he has Windows 8. So luckily he brought me the disk because uh, I don't have a Windows 8 flash drive. Anyways, you guys, this is Steven with All Talk On, and I'll catch you guys later.